Hey everybody, it's Warren, and this past weekend the official Avengers Endgame IMAX trailer came out. So, if you go see a movie anytime soon, you can go see an IMAX movie and catch the Avengers Endgame trailer in IMAX. The Avengers Endgame IMAX trailer has a larger aspect ratio, meaning you can see more of the picture. So, with the IMAX ratio coming out for Avengers Endgame, we got to see a little bit more of each scene in the trailer, which has helped us find some truth to an Avengers Endgame theory. The theory is about this scene in the trailer right here, where we see somebody's hand touching the shoulder of somebody else. Initially, mostly everybody thought this was Nebula touching the shoulder of Tony Stark, but due to dim lighting and the fact that you actually can't see the face of the person sitting in the chair, a theory was formed and it stated that the person's arm was actually Natasha Romanoff's and the person sitting in the chair is actually Steve Rogers. But, the IMAX ratio reveals more of the picture in this scene, which helps us solve the question, who is in the chair and whose arm is touching the shoulder of that person? This picture right here is a still from the IMAX Avengers Endgame trailer. And as you can see, the person in the chair has a lot of stubble on his face, much like Tony does in the beginning of the Avengers Endgame trailer. And, of course, as we saw in the trailer, Captain America is now clean shaven, no beard, not even a little bit of stubble. So it's clearly not Captain America in this chair, and the stubble points to it being Tony Stark. And with the IMAX ratio of this still, you can see the background even better than you could in the trailer. And in the background, you can see the curved window, which confirms that it's the Guardian ship, which is the Benatar, which is the ship that Tony and Nebula are on. So, thanks to the IMAX ratio, we have confirmed that in this scene, it is in fact Nebula touching the shoulder of Tony Stark. The real question now is, what exactly is going on in this scene? The way that Nebula touches his shoulder, it seems like he's right on the verge of dying, or maybe he's already dead. This is a movie about time travel, so he could die in the beginning, the Avengers go back in time and alter time to make it to where he eventually doesn't die. But let me know your thoughts on what you think is happening in this scene right here, with Nebula touching the shoulder of Tony Stark. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'm still doing my giveaway, giving away a life-size Infinity Gauntlet. If you would like to enter for your chance to win, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below with your thoughts and your favorite superhero. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.